Brewers and Tigers playing this afternoon. Milwaukee is 15 and 9. Their new catcher you saw right there is off to a great start. 390 on base has a 123 OPS plus. The Brewers traded to get William Contreras from the Braves. That's paying off and he joins us now. William it's Brian Kenny. Thanks for joining us today. Thank you. Appreciate it for this opportunity to be here. Uh, Carlos Brizuela is his interpreter. He's right there, but William's going to give us a shot. We'll, we'll deal with it right here. Yeah. Uh, William, talk about the adjustment. Going through a trade, what has that been like going to Milwaukee? Sí, mira, un ajuste, como todo el mundo sabe, tú sabes, este, un cambio de equipo pues, sucedió el 12 de diciembre. Eh, gracias a Dios, mira, tengo la oportunidad de estar con, la, con mi gente de Milwaukee. Gracias por la oportunidad de jugar todos los días. Y creo que ese va a ser el único chance de tener de demostrar quién soy yo. Yeah, it's, it's definitely an adjustment, you know, being traded in December uh, to a new team, to from a team you've been your whole career. It definitely takes an adjustment, but I'm very happy to be here with, with the Brewers and get an opportunity to play every day and, and be able to show the, the player that I can be. Your brother, obviously, Wilson Contreras, he goes to St. Louis. How often, how often are you in touch with him since he's had to change cities as well? No, mira, este, como bien lo dije, un ajuste para los dos. Obviamente lo jugamos ahora en un nuevo equipo. Este, nada, estamos aquí siempre para ganar. No, no, no estamos para competir siempre, tú sabes. Y siempre tenemos la mentalidad de ganador, la, la mentalidad de, de ser mejores. Yeah, I mean, he, he's definitely going through an adjustment just like me, going to a new team. But uh, yeah, we talk all the time. But at the end of the day, we're, we're competitors. We, we want to get better. We want to help our team win. And, and that's kind of what we what we're doing each other with each other's teams. William, the Brewers have a strong track record in catcher defense. What is it that they do? Because I know you've had some improvements. We're going to get into that. But what is it they do to improve a catcher in different facets of the game? No, creo que la consistencia, el trabajar del día a día, creo que es el único, la única diferencia que los Brewers hacen. Mira, se trabaja fuerte aquí, se trabaja consistentemente, y creo que es el punto principal. I think the, the consistency is, is the main point. You know, you, when you come here with the Brewers, you, you're working on catching every day, no matter what. And I think that, that's, that's been one of the main focus, main difference that I see coming here. It's, it's a focus is on consistency and working hard every day and trying to improve every day on your catching. You rank second in framing in all of baseball, though. How is your, your pitch framing? Show us something. How has the framing gotten better? Mira, este, trabajar, trabajar, tú sabes, trabajar consistentemente, eh, enfocarme más en la defensa. Sé que el año pasado, sé que mu muchas de las personas hablan mal de mí la defensa, pero no, mira, sé quién puedo hacer hoy en día, sé que jugando todos los días voy a ser uno de los mejores. Pero nada, todo se trata de la consistencia y estar enfocado picheo tras picheo. I think it's, it's all about consistency, you know, working on it higher every day, being able to improve every day and continue to work hard, and being able to play every day, you know, having the having the opportunity to play every day and show what I can do defensively. Uh, they're giving me that opportunity here, and, I, and I'm starting to show what I can actually do with, with my hard work and playing every day. William, have you seen, are you, can you watch it? Do you see what, what we're seeing there? Because, like, we have one highlight after another where you have boop, boop. <laughs> Everything's yeah, back into the I zone. Was, I mean, so you're working on that all the time, right? Boop. Yeah, I, tr I try to, to frame it any the pitch, out pitches, but it's like be consistent and be focused on pitch, pitch. Um, your blocking numbers have also improved. Is that something you do like old school? Do they actually throw balls to you in the dirt and you have to like just dive and block them? Or how do you get blocking numbers better? I don't know. It's not a part of, part of the game. I think play every day, like I said before, it's getting better. But most of the time, I don't know if you see the video, it's picking the ball. I, I, don't, I don't try to block the ball, but I just pick the ball. Do you do that before games, or is that something you don't want to get injured either? So that's something you can practice, no, that's or not no? Right. right. No, no, that's not to right. Okay, good. I, I was I was, <laughs> I was in field before before I big catcher. Okay, yeah, I wouldn't want to do that to you. New rules have affected base stealing. How different is it behind the plate for you? Mira, no, no es nada nada distinto. Este, creo que no es mucha la diferencia. Más que todo, igual que las bases, el tamaño nada. El único problema que uno puede decir es el, el timer, pero ya cuando tú pasan los días a día, ya tú le coges el ritmo. Yeah, I mean, really it's not much different. A little more running, but overall it's, a, it's, a, it's the same thing. You know, maybe maybe you got you got to be a little quicker because the base is a little, a little bigger, so your timing has to be a little better. But overall, once you start playing, you're playing every day, you kind of get used to it real quick, and it feels very natural, very the same. Well, I would think it's, it's a little more, like, just... I don't know, time consuming. You have to think how many throws over did my pitcher make? Did he step off once? Do you have to keep you have to keep track of that too, right? Sí, sí, tenemos en mente todo. Mira, ahora el, 
se nos complica un poquito más para los queches porque tenemos que estar pendientes de quién corre, cuánto desengagement tiene y todo eso. Pero mira, como te dije, a pesar que tú juegas día a día, ya tú le coges el ritmo y conoces más el juego. Yeah, it's, it's definitely a lot more, right? You, you got to be paying attention on who's running, how many disengagements you have. Uh, but yeah, it definitely puts a lot on the catchers. But the more you play every day, you, you kind of get used to it. It's, it's part of the game, so you kind of learn from it and, and make the adjustment. It, it feels almost normal nowadays. That's funny. It's like the, the more you think about it, as I, even as I'm going through the questions, like what questions do I want to ask you? Like you have a brutally hard job. <laughs> like they're saying your job gets more and more complicated, doesn't it? Sí, mira, obviamente la posición del queche es algo, mucha responsabilidad, por eso a veces, muchas veces lo llaman el líder, eres el único pelotero que tiene el estadio frente a ti. Y mira, tienes que tratar de controlar todo, tienes que tratar de controlar las emociones especialmente. Yes, yeah, it definitely is, right? You, you got a lot on your plate, and, and that's what being a catcher is, right? You got a lot of responsibilities on both sides of the game, and you, you're the only one that sees the field in front of you. So it, it's part of being a catcher, part of all the responsibility and being a leader and being able to, to lead the team, and, and that's you got to make adjustments and get better every day at it. All right. hey, Carlos, thank you for translating. We appreciate that. William, congratulations on the success so far with Milwaukee, and we'll do it again. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you for the opportunity to be here with you guys.